capture. There you are. Now. <laughs> nice. Why? Okay, I probably got to stop. Okay, let me see if they can see anything. Glasses are awesome. Deej is back. Okay, they see you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is too freaking cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Everything seems to be working now, huh? Yeah, well, I, I've got some seriously smoking fast internet here, so it works for me. Um, That's awesome. You know what we should do right quick? We should give something away. We should. We should. Don't you think? I think, I think that we need that right now. And I'm, I, I'm ready to give, not I, included what we want to give away. Let's just give something away. All right. Let me, let me blow up some random up here and we'll see what we got. Uh, do, 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 do. All righty. We got that. Let me pull up. Pull my software up. Random.org. Random.org. Minimize that. Let's see if it shows the hell up. Can they see it? Because I can't see it from here. Uh, Alright. See it? Well, you see it, both of us. Huh, see, I can't see me on the screen over here, but that's okay. D, tell them what we want to give away, bud. Oh, man, let's, let's give away some, some e liquid. I think we should give away. Uh, what do we normally do? We give away two. Let's give away two more. Alrighty, we can do that. I know people love free shit. I do. Uh, we're all about the free shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I see your message. I will be at Vape Bash. Sorry if I got the dare in the headlights look, folks, because I have never done it this way before, so you got to bear with me a little bit. <laughs> you should have saw us last night. I don't know if they saw, if they, you saw any messages back here. I was doing three mods at one time in my mouth at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and people were just howling over this. It was funny as shit. <laughs> 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 I may do it again here in a little bit if, if the urge strikes me. <laughs> okay, we've got how many we got in here? We got a boatload. You pick the prize, I'm gonna randomize. Oh, we've been a rhyme. Look at All that. right. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I think the first thing that we should do, based on everything that's been going on, one lucky person out there that's been that's been hanging out with us and didn't leave, they should win two bottles of thirty mil. Can you, see, can you see who's in the right corner? Oh, I don't care. Whatever. I don't care if as long as you guys can see him, I'm cool with that. Can you guys see DJ okay? Alright, good enough. Alright. The winner of some juice is Ori Zulu Vape of all people. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ori, do you want some juice from Beta Morph? <laughs> I've seen Zulu blowing up, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. want some juice? Where you at, Ori? Rig. <laughs> 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 it's not rig. Uh, <laughs> Ori, you here? I don't. I haven't seen her respond yet. Ori. Ori, dear. All right. Let's see here. Did she? Did it, Did anybody ever see her reply? Because I never did. I haven't seen a reply yet. Step away with the baby. All right, Deej, tell us about Dark Moon. All right, so tell us what it's about. All right, well, what it's really about, it's really about Karen, is what it's really about. So I think that most of you that are in this room right now understand how awesome of a woman that she really is. And <clears throat> she, uh, she and I have had this friendship for a long time, and then she kind of uh, got turned on to the dirty hippie and was really liking that, but it wasn't exactly what she was looking for. Right. So what she, she was looking for different. was... She wanted something a little different. She wants some dirty. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so um, 
Long story short, she and I have been scheming like bad little aliens, and we've been coming up. What this is really about is about Karen's juice. Karen wanted an all-day vape that she would be happy with, and I right. made her ten versions of this juice, and I sent them all to her, and I let her pick the two that she liked the most, and we've been working on it real hard, and um, I've been beta testing it here in the store, and it's it's just amazing. People love it. Right. Right. Uh, so the thing about it, probably what everybody wants to know is, like, what the hell is it? Something What's like that. Profile? <laughs> so... What's interesting about this juice is that, okay, so I'll speak for my own self. I smoked Camel filters for 22 years. I like sets just like anybody else. I, you know what I'm saying? Right. And right. the thing is, is that I didn't really want a tobacco flavor anymore. I, I'm more into, you know, pear and cotton candy and this tropical storm that Brandon loves. A couple shout outs. What's up, guys? Brandon, Adam, my girlfriend, uh, all of you people that have been supporting me. What's up? Good to see you, all that good stuff. <laughs> We're glad that um, you do. Man, it's, this is great. So um, so here's the deal, is that I don't really vape on tobacco flavors. And when I made this juice for her, I vaped it for two days. It, it's, it's hard to explain. It's um, There's some magic inside this juice. And it's uh, I've got a few plans for people that are into fruitier stuff too. But for the most part, it's a really thoroughly um, pleasant tobacco vape that is kind of borderlining on not tobacco. I guess you're just going to have to try it to kind of right. see what it's about. Is right. it, is it yeah. an in-your-face kind of flavor or kind of real subtle? It's pretty much in-your-face with subtleties. Nice. Huh? Nice. I like that. I like that. I like it in my face and then subtly in my face. You know what I mean? Right. And, and the, uh, the grand plan for this, I'm holding a bottle of it right now. Nice. I don't know about the bag and all that, but oh, I uh, I'm just going to be... Okay, this is going to be the base flavor, the dark creams, and because I'm crazy, I've got some, some really interesting plans, and I'm going to be wanting the community's feedback as well as to uh, dark moon dreams is plural. Right. Right? right. Have multiple versions so this, of it. Absolutely, and because like I sent her 10 different versions, she picked out two that she really liked, and I've got some ideas as a juice maker for my, for my own self. I've mixed one of my favorite flavors with this dark moon dream. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the way I would describe it is wrong. It's just all wrong. It's delicious. Wrong in a good way. Wrong. Oh my God, it's just so wrong. I love it. I can't <laughs> wait to actually produce it into something. Because I think that it, at this point with all of us, we all have so many choices and we all kind of know what we want. We need something that's a little bit different and that's my goal. I, I want to make, to, to be clear, when I market the Dirty Hippie, I let people know this, this juice that you're about to taste tastes like shit. You're not going to like it. It's terrible. <laughs> like fluid. Like, like really, I don't even want to try this crap. And then I watch them over here over the counter daily, and they just get this confused look on their face. Like, what the They're hell not is sure that? if they like it. And then they buy it. Right. right? So, right. so the goal is, is to, to kind of get something that's different. Um, and that's kind of hard to do at this point, I think. Nice. Nice. That's the main gist of it, anyway. Right. Well, what else can you well, talk about your store? Just I'm sorry, I say that again. Well, I said, what else can you tell us about your store? I, I don't know where you're located. At. Where are you at? Oh, okay. Uh, so we're located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, we're right here off of the freeway. We're close to the university. Um, uh, let's see. What would I tell you about my store? The first thing that I guess I would... We're really into environment and vibes and... I don't know how it is all over the nation. I, I know it's a little different now, but we want you to feel comfortable when you come right. in here. Right. We want you to talk with us. We want you to spend an hour and a half with us, even though you don't really need to, because you just have you have questions, and we don't want any question to be a stupid question. One of the things that I always uh, make sure that I encourage people with is the learning curve. Right. You have a learning curve, right. and it's going to take you six months, and it doesn't mean that you're stupid. It doesn't mean that you don't know what's going on. It just it's like a freshman to a sophomore to a senior, right. you know. Right. And right. we've all gone through it. We started with our five tens, and then we went to our egos, and then we went to our vamos, and started now with I'm five tens. I went to pro tanks, and now I'm, you know, then I'm baking yeah. three at a time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now it's like less than a year. Like yeah. <laughs> and so you know, now I'm on a mech mod with an origin dripper, and I'm like kind of getting savvy with it all. And so what I understand for myself, I didn't care. I don't care about this super swanky unit it's because right. that's not really what it's right. about what it's really about it's really about getting nicotine into your system and keep it off the stinkies 
Right, and and yeah. I've got all kinds of philosophies about that too. Um, I've had a couple of people even come in here today. Um, it's that's what it's really about. The the ultimate goal here for all of us is to get nicotine into our bodies. So you know, there's there's people all through this group, I'm sure, that are all into all kinds of everything, and you can have that if you want it. We, what we don't want to encourage you to have is some little non-variable voltage ego battery. I mean, they work fine, right. right? But then we want to get you into a variable voltage, and we want to we want to encourage you to. And we don't need you to spend any money. Right. It's not about right. that. Come check it all out. Look what's up. See if your thing's working for you. If it's not, then come back and we're we just you know. I'm sure that everybody kind of knows what I'm talking about. It's right. a huge yeah. learning curve. So the thing about us is that we want to. Uh, we want to be happy and we want to be communicative and we want people to know that they can feel comfortable here and they can ask us all the stupid questions that they want because we get to learn from those questions too. Right, right, exactly. That's exactly. pretty much the gist of it and uh, that's why I sponsored Karen's show. It's really all about love. Just like everybody in this room knows that it's all about love. And, and she's going to go with the love on because she is a great lady. Great. She's amazing. She's, she's one of my very true friends. I wish that there was more people on this planet like her. We would have... It'd be a great. Well, I don't know. It's a it's a fine planet as it is, I suppose. Right, right. Okay. Well, okay, I, I I I'd had to I, see his chat here that uh, already said a reroll, so we're gonna reroll again for for her. To, to oh, okay. Let's do it. We we'll do it. Somebody else here. Give me a second here, folks. Over the junk. Give me a second. Get rid of chatters. We don't need chatters. And randomize. Fish sticks 34. You be the winner. Fish sticks you in the house. Yo, fish sticks. We love you too, Karen. <laughs> Karen bailed me out last week when my show went to shit. <laughs> Least I could do is try to help her out today. Fish. What is this? Nobody wants the window juice? What the hell? <laughs> I just want to clarify that I see in chat that Jedi is getting old and I wanted it to be. Yeah, he just found out he's, yeah. having, he's having a baby. He's having a baby. A baby boy. Congratulations, a baby boy. James, my good friend James. All right, did fish right. ever fish. reply? Fish, you got 30 more seconds. <laughs> I'm timing this shit. I think it's time for a three way from last night. Oh, ah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I like the book too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I need me one of them. <laughs> fish, are you here? All right, fish is done. We're going somebody else. We're gonna re-roll this stuff. Did fish ever show up? I never saw him. The triple master. Okay, we're re-rolling it again because I never saw fish. So we're doing it again. Killer Greg. What the hell's up with the killer? You win. Oh, did okay. I'm sorry. Well, Killer, he ain't gonna win anyway because he's a mod. Hell with him. Fish spoke. I never saw him. Sorry about that. All right, so Fish is gonna get that. Karen, you gotta take care of that part, hon. You wanted to do one more because we never did get. We only got one out so far. So we're gonna reroll it one more time to get that second bottle out. Well, can't be having Hori win. Yokos. How about it, Yokos? 
Yeah, I got it. I know fish answered. I saw that later. We're good. Yoko's just won the second bottle. Yoko says thanks. Okay, perfect. Well, we got that out of the way. <laughs> Thank God for small miracles here. All right, let me uh, uh, jump over here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, it just seems like there's a lot. I'm reading all the chat, and it just seems like there's a lot of people that have, that kind of know about that have to do. So it's awesome. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I. I started I, June 30th June, of last year uh, with an ego he, and a and pro tank. That'll work. You know, you know like three months later, three months later I'm rebuilding shit. I'm, I, I went and bought uh, a magneto so, and you know, a, yeah, and all this yeah. stuff. Started rebuilding coils. Stuff. Started doing DIY. Stuff. It's like with it under a year. And the day I started, the day I picked the ego up is the day I stopped smoking, and it's been, you know, almost eight nine months now. I don't miss them a bit. It's a yeah, well, you can probably relate to why I opened up the store then. Probably the same reason that you're involved with the show like you are. Mm -hmm. It's a similar type mm -hmm. of thing, right? It's, you become really passionate about it once you start changing your life and you see you know, what's going on around you. It's, yeah. We're all in this together. Yeah, and here yeah. in Pittsburgh, where I live at, there aren't very many stores. I mean, there's around me, I've got one five miles away, then there are... 15 miles away or I mean, there's not like a concentration like would be like in Oklahoma City like every corner apparently there but um, I have very limited access to a B&M near me so I have to do it online or I find places like this and give me the ideas of wow you can do this or you can buy it online or here's the stores or here's the you know, go to Beta Morph and get this it's it's wonderful it's wonderful right yeah it's a lot of fun it is absolutely fun uh, let's see here <laughs> good old Paul Merrick man yeah, Paul, I actually was looking at it the other day. I think you're our number one customer, dude. That, that man is addicted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's find out. Can they see you at least? Can they, can they see, can you guys see both of us? I think they can only see me. The journey, well, that's you didn't want to matter, so that's okay. Okay. Just each, and that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't really care. You don't. You saw my ass until three o'clock this morning. Some of you people last night. So, yeah, I hear. He sees me on the bottom right. Actually, let me adjust my settings. You'll see me up here. Hang on a second here. Uh, let's see. Maybe. You know what? It ain't broke. I ain't fixing it. I ain't worried about it. I'm gonna leave it running the way it is. Go home. I'm. Dr I'm not drunk. <laughs> How about now? You see me up in the upper right now? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Can somebody else put the link for the video for the winners up there? Oh well. Wow. The hell up in here? Now I see. Now I see you guys over here. Nice. A wee, wee little Jim. Yeah, Jim's a wee little guy. Not not very, but. I'll just take I'll take with what I got over here. This is cool. All right. Does anybody have any questions for Deej? If you do, type them in there because I ain't got. I wasn't planning to do this, but you know we're rolling. We're just going with it. So. Yeah, there's probably a lot of you that you know, that see me on Facebook. I know there's you know a lot of people that I kind of talk with and stuff, but there's probably a few of you out there that have no idea what's going on with the beta morph thing. And if you want to know, uh, I'll tell you. Fire away. Fire away. Yeah. Because you can see the chat, can. right? I can see the chat, yes. All right, perfect. <clears throat> your favorite your juice in your line? My favorite juice in my line is, without a doubt, it's called Alien's Blood. And ironically, you know what? Since, well, I'll just go ahead and say this. Alien's Blood is my favorite juice, and... Part of me is feeling like I shouldn't say it, but I'm just going to say it anyway. So my next intention, I'm going to take my favorite juice, which is the alien's blood, mm -hmm. and I'm going to mix it with this dark moon dream. Ah. I'm telling you, man, it's wrong in all kinds of ways. It's just wrong. It's a tobacco with fruit and muffin and all kinds of stuff, but I love it. And yeah. so, uh, I don't know. Keep, keep that in mind. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. but So my order would be uh, alien's blood, and I really like... Satiated is really good. Mm. I've heard a lot about that. Yeah, it's just there's just something about it. Uh, the playa papaya gets stuck in my. I just 
sometimes I'll go two or three days of doing that. Um, what else is good? Blue balls, man. You got to have some blue balls, ladies. <laughs> Us guys get them enough. We got to, ladies got to share. Yeah, it's your turn. Anyway, we, we have a flavor called melon balls. And the melon balls is really good, and we mix it with some blueberry. We call it blue balls. That's a good one Dark too. Dark Moon Nightmare. That was a good one. I was thinking. Dark Moon I was Night thinking Aquanet. <laughs> Let's see here. So I don't know beta morph. So who are you guys? Um, all right. So for like I was saying before too, um, there's before beta morph e, e cigs ever became a reality. There was beta morph recordings, which is a dubstep record label. Uh, we threw some shows, kind of uh, been involved in. Scene and so it just, it, sense, yeah, it just made sense to come up this store and the record was kind of on the back burner. But at some point, I'll kind of have them both going, and uh, we're just really trying to get this business up and going. Uh, let's see here, what else we got going on in here? Um, DJ is one of the few that custom blend for peeps in the vape community, yeah. So that's another thing, too. Um, I guess I'll just mention it here. If you were to ever go to our website and you wanted something that wasn't, here's an even a better idea. Let's say that you saw the different flavors that we had and you couldn't find a juice. Let's say it was grape, cherry, and licorice. Right. I'll make exactly. it for you. So all you need to do is go in there until we kind of make more progress. Go and order some absinthe on our website. And then when you complete your order, you can put some little notes in there. I'm the one that makes all the juice. I see all the printouts. I'm the one that puts it in the package and sends it out. Uh, that's why so many people get a lot of free stuff. Right, right. I'm the guy that's putting that free stuff in there because I just have, you know, there's relationships and there's, there's, uh, I don't know, it's a community type thing. But at any rate, just go in there and if there's something that you're not really seeing, I can make it for you. And all you have to do is just put it in the notes. And uh, I've been known to also just kind of send out a few things like uh, somebody wanted to try my blueberry muffin tops, but with strawberry. Right. So I had made it for him and I sent it to him. So that's always cool. Right. Let's see what else. I want to talk about the dub of Alien Monster ha the hanging behind you. What is that? Yeah. Oh, this little guy right here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is an alien that's being hung by Jesus. Uh, it says right here that Jesus loves me. And that's just that's just a little something for conversation, I suppose. Right. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> we're not weird at all around here. Let's see here. What else we got going on here? All right, I see some talk about the Gentleman's Choice. The Gentleman's Choice is our flavor of the week until tomorrow. So if you're interested in that, right now it's a little bit cheaper. Uh, people are a little confused about that because they think it's a tobacco flavor, which it is. But I don't really want a tobacco flavor. I want something with maybe a little bit of t tobacco essence. So the Gentleman's right. Choice is basically a vanilla with hazelnut. And it's RY4, delicately handcrafted. And uh, it's, I don't know, it's, it's kind of been blowing up. We're vaping on it, so um, I see that interviews are a good thing, so I can kind of tell you about that. Uh, let's see. What else is going on? See, I'm like you. I, I'm not a tobacco vapor. Not, that I, not right. that I hate it, but when I went to this, I said, I don't want tobacco. And... I went to fruits and desserts, and you know, it's like that's good for me. I'm cool with that. Right. And that I don't really need to have a tobacco. Exactly. And, but, but I did. I did actually have a bottle of your, of your juice in my hand at one time because somebody in the UK wanted <laughs> had a ship to me, and I sent it to him, and he was happy as a clam <laughs> when he got it. <laughs> but I never opened it, and I, I I so wanted to open it up, at least take a sniff of it. But I said, no, I can't do it. I'll just send it on. Yeah. <laughs> Let's, I'd be more than happy to send you some too, Jim. Let's see what this person's saying. I won 30 mil, uh, 30 mil bottle a few months ago, but when I opened my package, it had three 30 mil bottles in it. Betamore hooked me up at a time when I really needed the help. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Like, there you exactly. Go. And it's not like this. I don't want anybody to get it twisted. I'm not going to just send free shit out all the time. I'm just not. But basically, everybody that's ever ordered from me kind of knows that there's. I'll either upgrade you from a 10 mil to a 30 mil. I mean, especially if I know you and we've kind of got a thing going on. Um, but yeah, I try to, it's a really long story. I just, I just had some experiences with some other places before I ever got into this business. They were just kind of not very giving. And we all know, we all know what's going on around here with the, with the e-liquid thing. It's just, 
<laughs> it's just good energy I'm trying to put out. Alright, they're asking about right, custards. Do you have uh, any custards? Yeah, absolutely absolutely do. There was a, a gentleman, one of my one of my friends, uh, he's been ordering a lot of liquid. He wanted something custard. So I I made him a vanilla custardy lich, is what it was called. And so if there's anybody out there that wants a good custard and they want something specific, again, all that you need to do is put a little couple of notes inside of the notes when you place an order, and I'll get crazy up in here. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, a kind of a knack. It's a, I don't know, a pretty serious knack. I was raised by chefs. Um, kind of just have a knack for, for throwing flavors together. I kind of know what tastes right. So if mm -hmm. uh, Susan knows, Susan Shiatoff, she knows. I send her stuff all the time. Just she wanted a peppermint, a peppermint patty or something like that. And, and then here's the other thing I'll, I'll say about that too. If if you got something for me, let's say you wanted me to make you a s'mores or a peppermint patty or whatever, and it wasn't just quite right, all you got to do is communicate with me, and I'll adjust it send you another little bottle of it until we get it right and then once we do then you'll know that you can order it and it's been we, we put up flavors like that all the time too right. from our customers right right so if i want a little bit more peppermint so, next time hey a bit more peppermint to it or whatever yeah you can tweak it, make it make it the way they want it so it's custom blended if you so, need it to be and i'll tell everybody the reason why i'm like that I've, I've been a fine dining waiter for most of my life and some people out there will be able to relate to this you want to go to a restaurant you want your steak cooked not medium not medium well you want to cook medium plus. And the cooks might get uptight about it, or the waiter might get uptight about it. No, 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 no. You give the person what it is that they want. It's as simple as that. And that's how you keep customers, and that's how you make people happy. And so I'm all about working my ass off to try to perfect the flavor. Perfect. Uh, it's like not even a They're asking about custom or PG, VG ratios. Can you do a custom if you need to? Yeah, uh, we actually got written up in a local newspaper recently. Um, we're very aware of that certain people, a certain percentage of the population is having a hard time with PG. Uh, so if you want, I'll put it to you this way, you can have whatever you want. Now, having said that, I know there's a lot of BG, 100% BG users out there, and I've been working really, really hard to kind of devise my own. Uh, um, so I have about seven or eight all BG flavors, but um, if, you're, if you're BG sensitive, and you want me to go out of my way to try to tailor something for you, I'll make you, if you want a, a, a 67.5 BG, I don't care whatever, I'll make it for you. Nice. Yeah. Do we have any more questions out there? Let's see, habanero. I don't have any habanero, but I crab, have a Any crab juice? <laughs> crab juice, <laughs> not yet. I'm from Baltimore, I love Old Bay seasoning. Man, I would just die if I could get some of that. I'd probably baked like terrible, but <laughs> the, the flavor I love, and I miss it so bad because I can't get it here. <laughs> Interesting. Well, you know what, this is really cool for me because I'm seeing all this feedback about, um, you know, when I send something straight in the mail to somebody, I don't have any idea after that what happens, but I'm, I'm seeing people here respond that somebody ordered some five mil samples and I upgraded them to 10. It's just, I can't do it all the time, but I just I just want people to be happy, right. you know. Right. Yeah. I see a ginger see beer. The Copa. The Copa. Ginger beer. It's an interesting idea. We've been uh, kind of playing with some of the ideas of maybe some hops and some beer flavors and uh, things like that. So that might be interesting. Oh, that would make a oh, lot of vapors really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger beer? Well, I mean, just beer in general, well, beer, beer flavor in general. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't take me much to kind of figure stuff out. So, if there's somebody out there that wants a beer flavor, um, I'm up for the task. I think Jedi sure. would yeah. be all over that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Knowing his history, he, he just yeah, beer, just yeah, beer, beer, drink a beer. beer. It's good. Life is it's good. good. <laughs> wow, I'm really. Uh, I'm really so grateful for all this feedback that I'm seeing. So I guess one of the things that I want to say is, is this. Um, this is a crazy business that we're all involved in, okay? Um, the reason why I feel like maybe I'm being successful right now is because of my record label experience. Mm -hmm. So to be able to communicate with people and to be able to, you know, kind of work real hard to get the name out there and all that kind of stuff, that's really kind of not what we've been doing. All that we've been doing is just one day at a time, uh, you know, there's been a learning curve for us too, you know, and, and, and mark my words, you keep an eye on us for the next three to six months, we're going to completely revamp, everything's going to be much higher quality, 
Um, things are the dust is starting to settle. Right. 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 So I'm seeing all the feedback in the chat, and it's really it's humbling. I'm super grateful for the opportunity. Um, you know, I've met Phil Bussardo and Grim Green, and I kind of know what the community is. And for me to be a part of this, I really want to say thank you to every single one of you out there. There's many of you out there that are, are learning about us for the first time here tonight. And I'm sure that we'll get to know each other. But for all of you that have been uh, supporting me on Facebook and just so many loving people, it's really been awesome for me. It's really been motivating for me. You know, I just keep going and going and going. And I'm, I'm really, really just humbled and grateful for all the really positive feedback. And I'm glad that some of you get to see me talk and kind of see what's up because I'm the guy that's making your juice. Huh? And I'm really, really caring about it too. So I just wanted to say thank you as a blanket to everybody that's out there watching right now. Uh, in the past or in the future, this is me. This is what we do, and I just, I couldn't be uh, happier about it, really. So, thank you to all of you. We are so glad you're part of the community. Ah, man, and Vape on TV. All of you that are in here know, Vape on TV, without Vape on TV, I would not be where I am right now. It's so much, so much love and so much information and just so much um, caring, you know, in Vape on. So, I really, really appreciate all of you, and... Let me see if I can catch up on some of this here. I saw a, but, a, a vanilla but, custard yeah. banana. Okay, so here's how this works. You want a vanilla custard with banana? Great, no problem. All I need you to do is tell me how you want it to taste. So maybe a little bit of banana. Okay. Somebody wanted smoked uh, banana custard is what it comes out as. Say that again. Smoked, smoked banana, or smoked custard with S banana. So like like a little bit of a barbecued flavor with the banana. I'm thinking smoky, I'm like thinking. woody type. Yeah, that's, that's how I take it. Well, I could probably do that. We have, I have a barbecue fire flavor. It tastes just like if you were at the campfire. Nice. Yeah, let's see. Ah, mm. oh, man, let's see. Exactly. Buttered popcorn, I have buttered popcorn, but I would never use it, ever. I mean, even if you really, really wanted it, I'm probably not going to send it to you. Uh, reaching for the stars, that's, that's something cool. All right, so you can really only kind of gain so much from uh, what's going on on Facebook. Is that I'm not a liar, and I'm not a charlatan, and I'm not a piece of shit, okay? What I am is I'm a really loving, giving person, and my ultimate goal with all of this is to be able to, when it comes to money in this business with whatever we're doing, that's the only time it's ever about money. Right. What, we're, what we're trying to do is we want philanthropy, man. Philanthropy, and that's what I'm, my little tiny little sliver of philanthropy. Somebody's out there, they're having a tough time, I just send them to joy, right? right? right. It's just, Pay it it's forward. just, uh, exactly. Exactly. And so this reaching for the stars, what it is, you know, okay, this is a really cool platform for me to kind of say something. Um, Dub Steppers for Haiti. I was sitting on my couch and we watched what was going on with Haiti and I, I just had this feeling in my heart I wanted to help. So we did five releases on our record label and we donated 100% of the profits and we raised quite a bit of money for the people of Haiti. Now, a lot of people were really pissed off at me. They didn't want to be involved with Haiti. They didn't care about Haiti. They, they were telling me, well, what about us? What about America? And I said, okay, I hear you. I hear what you're saying. What about Haiti was my response. So what I learned from that is that there's a lot of problems all over the world everywhere. And if we all pull together, we can all make a difference. I can only do so much. So what I decided to do is choose one local uh, outfit, something that was going on locally that I felt um, passionate about right and right. what we found we found it's a it's a halfway house here in Albuquerque called reaching for the stars ministry right. and it was right. a guy that came in here one day trying to sell me some bread and I said no 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 that's not gonna work for me you need more than that so um, reaching reaching for the stars stars and skies anybody that buys that bottle of e-liquid a hundred percent of those profits are gonna go to here locally mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so whether you're in another state or whatever if you're into doing good things for people that's exactly what we're doing. Now we raised seventy-five dollars for them. We had a little sale, and I'm going to do another one, and another one. And we, 
there's kids over there that don't have, uh, you know, parents and a family and whatever's going on, and they need a little bit of help. So um, that's what the gist is on that. And we would like to, um, I guess I want everybody to know, anybody out there that's helping support us, that's the direction that we're going in. We want to help the community. Right. So if you're into helping the community too, even if you can't see exactly directly how you're influencing it, just know that Betamorph is out there trying to do things. It's it's really not about money for it's us. It's all about it's, giving it's, back because you get it back tenfold when it's done. Well, and if you really think about it, that's why we're being successful right now. It's right. really a no-brainer. It's you, you treat people like you want to be treated. You go out of your way to make sure because really I could be in the same position as somebody else. And sometimes we just need a little bit of understanding, a little bit of, a little bit of love goes a long way. So yeah, it definitely does. Definitely. I wanted to make sure I spoke about that. And yeah, this, this banana custard thing. If you want a banana custard, I got you covered. No problem. Graham cracker banana custard sounds good. Oh wait, what did I just see? Did you help me when I needed it for my own company? Bottles helped me in and, and didn't have to. So. Yeah, it's like somebody needs some bottles, and I send them a box of bottles. It's it's just we we all just need a little bit of help. Let's see. Right, exactly. So there's people out there that can understand and relate, and so now I, I feel like pretty much everybody kind of understands where we're at. Um, let's see. What else is going on around here? That's that's pretty much the gist of the beta morph camp. Um, I can't really think of anything else more to say, really. All right. Well, does anybody right. else have your last questions for Deej? And so as far as uh, bottles that we've given away, we gave out two extra bottles. And did we already give out some of the other ones, too? We only gave away two. You gave away two. Okay. And that's what we normally give away during the show. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to give away one bottle each to th if you have time. If you don't have time. I've got as much time as you need. Okay, so I, I want to give out three more bottles. Actually, let's make that a five. And I would like five different people to be able to win a 30 mil bottle. Five people, five 30 mil bottle? Mil bottle. Yeah, and I understand that you guys have a certain amount of time and you have other sponsors too, so whatever is appropriate. All right, perfect. Well, let me grab the chatters list. And what I'm going to do, if this is okay with everybody, I'll just pick the top five people. Instead that rolling, sounds great. Instead of rolling five times, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do it one time. Five people, top five, get it. All right. Fingers That's crossed right. for everybody out That's there right. now. That's right. Let's try this again. Go back. Oh hell, hang on. Let me send. You just open a new window up. Give me a second here, folks. Get rid of the junk. Shatters. All right, we're gonna do this. The top five are the winners. You got two minutes. Once we do this, randomize. Strap chaos. Somebody write these down because I can't see the screen when I do this. We have strap chaos. We have more flavor. The Jedi. Mikey Clouds. Ah. Yeah, of course Jedi gets it. He wants the beer flavor, I'm sure. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mikey Clouds and Vaping Jammer. The Strap Chaos, more flavor, Jedi, Mikey Clouds, and Vaping Jammer. Use the winners. All right, all the winners. Thank you, thank you, Cadillac, for writing that down because I couldn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> See now that's awesome. So you know, bullshit aside, like that makes me feel good because once I get those emails and then I put that shit in the mail, it's gonna go somewhere and somebody I guess there's a small chance that you might not like it. I'm not I don't have a problem with that. But you probably nobody, are gonna nobody do it. likes everything. I mean Right, no yeah, doubt. yeah, nobody and, likes and so everything. I always try to like you don't need to like it. That's fine. We all we're all hip to this. Just <laughs> give it to somebody. Exactly. Pip it to somebody else problem. if you don't like it, because you know, some, I, I, I love cinnamon. Other people I, I, I know, they don't want no parts of cinnamon. But I will bait that shit all day long. And right. I love it. You know? I love I got it. You. I love it. So. Well, so, um, 
I think that my job has been done here. <laughs> and you did an excellent job, as always. <laughs> Man, it was it was really cool. Um, so Karen, I'm sure you can hear me. It's interesting how I ended up on here with Jim, but that's cool because now Jim and I are bros. That's right, man. Pounder, brother. There you go. <laughs> my homie dog. And uh, I love you, Karen. I know that you can hear me. And all of you in the chat, thank you so much for just, I mean, I'm stoked that I get to be doing this. It's really a lot we're, of fun. We're, we're so glad you're, you're part of the community, and we're so glad you took your time out of here. I'm, I'm sure you're busy as hell. Yeah. This, so. It's all good. I would do anything for Karen, uh, as always, and um, and so for what it's worth too, I will go to Bash, and I will be bringing many, 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 many little five mil bottles so that I can just hand out to everybody. So if you're going to be at Bait Bash, uh, just look for the crazy dude in the alien glasses. There you go. Now my question right. for you is, when is Karen's juice going to be available? I think they just announced we, it. No, I'm saying is it available now? That's what I'm asking. Uh, it is. Uh, let's see. Um, I could probably, when I get off of here with you, I could probably go and make sure that it's live on the website, which I probably should have done before. But uh, let's just go ahead and say that it's available now. If you go to the website and you don't see it, just check back in a few minutes or something like that. But yeah, we're ready to rip. Perfect. Deej, thanks for Deej, thanks for thank, taking your time. Thank, yeah. Absolutely, Jim. Thank you for uh, for coming in here and saving the day with us. Not a problem, bud. Not a problem. All right, See buddy. Ya. Love the, Big love the glasses. Love. All right, guys. Peace out. See ya. Bye bye now. Bye bye.